Hey guys, welcome to another Pilates Reformer workout. Okay, we're gonna hit the full body today, a little bit of everything, that deep core work as always. We're gonna drive from that powerhouse right at the center of the body, okay? So today, you don't need too much, all right? You're gonna need your Pilates circle, all right? Right off the bat, and we're gonna use that the entire time. So make sure you have that ready for you. If you don't have a Pilates circle, you can do this whole workout without it. It's gonna add deeper connection today. Um, and it's not really gonna add any sort of help in the work. It's gonna add more resistance, okay? So it's gonna make things a little more difficult. So without your Pilates ring, you'll be fine. You can still do this whole workout and I will speak to that modification as we go. You want your jump board up and ready. Your jump board's gonna be on the entire workout so that you don't have to mess around with it and lose time. We're gonna keep moving so you keep that sweat on and we just drive through and power through that 60 minutes, okay? Um, you have one blue spring. I have one light spring on my reformer right now. We're gonna be taking that down to an extra light spring. For me, that's a yellow. I'm on a balanced body reformer. If you're on another brand, a Marathu or something like that, it's a white spring. Okay, if you only have a light spring and that's the lightest that you have, use that the whole time. I will also speak to those modifications as we go, okay? Um, and that's it, headrest is down. It can be up if you like it up, but I'm gonna leave mine down today. And I think that's it. Okay, we're just gonna get right into it. Now, I don't play music in the background because YouTube doesn't allow that. So if you have music in your background that keeps you motivated and keeps you pumped, Please have that on, but I want you to listen to my cues, so don't forget about what I'm saying. Those cues are important, and they're gonna help you connect a little bit deeper, okay? I want you to feel it where you're supposed to feel it, all right? So come on down onto the reformer. You have your ring in your hand. You're gonna lie all the way down to start. We're gonna start with a jump sequence. So feet are gonna come flat on that jump board. Your Pilates ring, okay? We're gonna take that behind the base of the neck. So one end, okay, one side of that squishy pad is gonna come to the nape of your neck, base of your skull, all right? Your other two, your other hands, or your hands, your other hands, <laughs> your only hands are gonna come to the other squishy pad, okay? So I've got one on top of another, and I'm gonna use this to hold an ab curl today. So before we do anything else, we're gonna lengthen out those legs, two straight legs. Right now my legs are four inches apart, parallel, so straight off the hip. I'm gonna exhale as I take an ab curl using the ring to traction with length my skull up and back, keeping length on the front body. Okay, tips of my shoulder blades are off the carriage. From here, we're gonna exhale as we bend both knees. Inhale, take it out for a little hop. So we're starting with parallel jumps, full range of motion. Okay, I'm really picky about your jumps, so you're always gonna hear me say, I want you to land with an entire foot connection. So we're not just landing through the toes. We're gonna get that heel to connect every time. You're gonna land through the toes, roll through the ball of the foot onto the heel. Make sure that heel sticks before you leave that jump board. Then we're leaving the jump board heel, ball, toe. Okay, so land, toe, ball, heel, leave, heel, ball, toe. All right, now I want you to also think about your breath here. We're in that ab curl, all right? So it's challenging right off the get-go. I'm already feeling a shake. Your inhale breath takes you out to help facilitate that internal length and your exhale breath lands you, all right? So we're using our breath to leave not a massive push through the legs. It's an inhale out and exhale in. All right, now we're gonna glue those legs together because we're gonna start with some little jacks. So the first one's gonna be a little scissor jack. We're gonna take the right leg up, left leg down, and then both legs out to the side. Left leg up, right leg down, both legs out to the side. Now the whole time, I'm using the ring to hold an ab curl, all right? You wanna have some uh, resistance with those palms. I'm alternating, okay, a scissor jack up and down to a wide jack, okay, side to side. Always getting those heels to touch down. Woo, and I can already feel the body heating up. Woo, inner thighs, okay, they scissor right past one another, pointing those toes, reaching for length. I'm talking so much, right, you don't hear my breath, but I want you to use that inhale to leave, exhale to land. Woo, let's go for four, we're gonna change it up. Last three, and two, last wide one. 
Okay, now we're gonna land once wide on that jump board, toes shine up, once closed. Once wide, good, once closed. So same thing, full foot connection. I'm staying in parallel, toes shine up. Good, I want you to find that, that drawing up and in of the belly button. Hold on to this. We're here for six. Whoo, last five. Good, you've got four. Last three. Good, you've got two. You've got a lot of hang time on that one light spring. Last one. Now right here, we're gonna land close parallel, and now we're gonna land one inch wider. One inch wider than that. All the way to the width of the jump board. And then one inch in. Good, one inch in from there. And then close parallel. Okay, so we're taking baby steps. One inch out. Good, one inch wider. Full width of the jump board. Good, and then one inch in. Woo, one inch in. Close parallel. Hang on, guys, we're almost there. We got two more just like that. Little baby steps. Three steps out, three steps in. You got it. Woo. All right, let's go one more wide, because then we're going to stay wide. So once you hit the width of that jump board, whoo, you're going to stay out there. Wide jumps. Okay, right here. Keep those toes shining up. We're going to take some external rotation towards the end of class with some jumping. So right here, I want you to stay parallel. Good. Find that traction and that lift on the ring for eight. Whoo, last seven. Good, you've got six, last five, and four. Whoo, we got three, heels are still touching down. Last two, and last jump. Whoo, and bring it all the way in, release that ring. Take the ring out from behind the head. Okay, we're coming all the way up. Now right away we're gonna change our springs. So. Extra light spring, that's a yellow spring for me. I'm gonna take off the blue, all right? If you're on the one light and that's all you've got, that's fine, okay? Otherwise, you're on an extra light spring. My knees, okay, are gonna be hanging just off the front of the edge of the carriage. So your kneecap is in midair, okay? It's over the springs. It's not on the carriage. We're gonna protect the kneecap today. Your left arm is gonna hold that ring at your left shoulder, Okay, so I've got my palm on one squishy pad, other squishy pads on top of my shoulder. My right hand is gonna jump. So we're gonna set up for this jump. Knees are hip width apart. We're gonna hinge back. Okay, so reach those sits bones for the heels. Let the torso tilt. Ribs are stacked over the pelvis. Right hand to the jump board. Okay, from here, we're gonna roll to the tips of our fingers and roll it back down to our heel. Roll it up to the tips of our fingers and roll it back down to the heel. So right here, heel of the hand is when I say heel. Right here, I'm asking for a lot of flexibility through that wrist. So if that's not accessible to you today, you can have those fingertips hanging off the front, uh, the top edge of that jump board. Okay, you're obviously not gonna be able to roll to your fingertips, but I want you to find full extension of the arm. Okay, if you can get your full hand on the jump board, fantastic, go for that. Opening up that inside elbow, staying in that hinge, you're reaching your sits bones back, belly buttons pulled up and in. Now, once you feel comfortable here, we're gonna add a little hop. So we're gonna leave, and we're gonna exhale as we land. Inhale, exhale to land. Now again, just like I spoke about the foot, finding that full foot connection, same thing goes for the hand. We're finding full connection of the palm. Whoo! Now you wanna to try to catch yourself before you hit those bumpers. Okay, so there's a slow recoil of those springs. Inhale and exhale. Good, let's go for four. That right arm's gonna get tired. Last three. It's not a huge shove. Notice that I'm not shifting. My shoulders are square. Last two to the jump board. I'm not twisting. All right, now on the next one, you're gonna rise up. So on your inhale, we're gonna open the front of the hips, come in to land. Open, hinge. Open, reach the sits bones back to land. So my right palm comes down by my side. I open up the hips, I grow tall. Sternum over pubic bone, okay? 
that full opening of the front side of the hips. Good. Now you've got time on that one yellow spring, and that's what we want. We want that hang time. Woo. Now let's add a little pulse to the ring. Okay, so as you leave, you're going to pulse, squeeze in on that ring, and come in to land. Squeeze in on that ring, come in to land. Six. This is it. Five. Good. Last four. I want you to think of those inner thighs drawing up into the pelvic floor. Last three. That helps you lift. Last two. And last one. Whoo! And bring it all the way in. All right. We're going to turn around. Turn around. We got four point kneel jumps. Okay. So we're going to be rear facing. The ring is going to come under our right palm. So I've got my right palm on one squishy pad. The other squishy pad is right on the carriage. Left hand at the edge of the carriage, okay, and I'm in a four-point position to start. My left leg is going to come to the jump board, okay? So left foot, extend that leg all the way out nice and long. So I've got my right knee under my hip. It's nice because I have a mirror. I can check my form, okay? If you don't, just listen to my cues. Try to find it best in your body. Both hip bones are level, okay? From here, we're going to roll to the toes, and roll back down to the heel. Roll to the toes and roll back down to the heel. Now, once you feel comfortable there, we're gonna add a little bend to the knee and then we're just gonna roll to the toes. Bend the knee, left knee, roll to the toes. Okay, the core needs to be on right here. I'm pressing into my ring, but not a lot. Okay, it's a light touch. You can think about this like a bird dog. Okay, that right arm could be extended. Right now, we just have it on the ring instead. All right, right from here, if you're comfortable, you're going to go for a little hop, and then you're going to come in to land. Now, the same rules apply. Give yourself a little bit of forgiveness here, okay, because right off the bat, it might feel really shaky. As you jump, it's, you're going to find that center point, that midline connection. All right, so keep your eyes on the well of the machine. Try, don't try to look up. We want that nice long spine, nice long back of the neck. The same rules apply on that foot connection. I want you to find a full connection through the heel, not just landing through the toes. Good. We're challenging the flexibility through the ankle. Okay. And over time, that flexibility will increase if we challenge it. If we don't, it won't increase. <laughs> okay. Good. Belly button's pulled up and in. Good. That flexibility through the ankle is so important. Helps that walk, helps that stride. Mobility. Good. Hang on to it right here. That core is engaged. We're going to add a little lift now. So on your next one, as you jump out, you're going to lift the leg two inches and lower to land. Little lift. Good. Recruiting that glute, that little back of the leg. So right where the hamstring meets the glute, you're going to pulse up from right there, that intentional movement, and come back down to land. It's not a high kick because I'm not shortening my low back. My low back gets to stay nice and long. Nothing changes with my torso. Yes, guys, good. Hang on. This is it. This is your last layer here. We're here for six. Last five. Good. We've got four. Ooh, last three. And two. And last one. And bring it all the way in and down. Whew. Okay, come on up. Shake it out a little bit. We're coming to the floor. Okay, so step off to the left of your machine. I'm still rear facing. That ring is going to stay in my hand, but it's going to come up against my left waistline. We're going to grab the right long loop, or the long loop in my right hand. Okay, so my right hand has the long loop. Both feet are on the floor. I'm standing alongside the reformer rear facing. My right foot's going to stay where it's at. Okay, but my left leg's going to take a step back and we're going to find a split lunge. Okay, I'm going to scooch forward a little bit. Okay, right from here, we're going to keep this split lunge. We're going to hover over the floor. So my back knee, my left knee is dripping dr straight down. My right knee is tracking with big toe, second toe, and it's just in front of my ankle. Okay, so find that alignment. Chest is tall, sternum over pubic bone. I've got the ring at my left waist. My right hand now is going to take that long loop and it's going to press it back to the side of my body. And then I'm going to bring it forward. I'm going to press it back to the side of my body and then I'm going to bring it forward. So we're looking at chest expansion here, single-sided. I'm not twisting. I'm not rotating at all. 
That arm stops right at the side body like a side seam. Okay, so you want to stop at that side seam and then take it forward from there. Good. Stop at the side seam and then take it forward. And we can here hover a little lower towards the ground because we're here for four more. We've got a couple holds. Last three. You should feel that right waistline turn on. Good. Last two. Good. On your next one, you're going to hold that right palm back. Hold it back there. Hold. Left palm is going to pulse in on that ring. Little squeeze into the waistline. Good. Pull your belly button up and in. Stay tall. Good. Keep that hover low. You're here for six, five, four, three. We're going to go back to full range of motion. Last one. Right arm goes forward. And then we pull it back. Good. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Again, that inhale is going to help facilitate that internal length. That's what we're always looking for, that nice long length through the, through the body. Inhale, last four. Good. Exhale, last three. Good. You've got two. We've got one more hold. On your next one, you're going to hold it back. Hold it right there. Butterfly your inner thighs. So those inner thighs are going to squeeze towards the midline, one inch in, one inch out. Good. Don't let that chest expansion go. Hold it right at the side body. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it all the way up. Woo! I get the sweaty one. All right. Come on to your reformer again. Keep your strap. Okay. We're going to do some high kneeling work. So we're going to start. That ring is going to be right between the palms, and I've got my long loop still in my right hand. It's going to come just up against that one squishy pad. Left hand's on the other squishy pad, okay? From here, I'm going to hinge back for this first part of the exercise. So my knees are right underneath my hips. I'm going to reach my sits bones back to find that hinge, the same hinge I found on that upper body jump before. Okay, so now my torso's tilted so that the ribs are stacked over the pelvis. Pull the belly button up and in, okay? We've got a light squeeze on the ring. It's not a lot. And from here, we're going to inhale as we take that ring up and out towards the jump board, little twist, and come back to that hover. Good. Reach it up and out and come back to that hover. So a little diagonal rotation here. I want you to think about keeping your left hip bone shining forward. Okay, so as you take that ring up and out, your hips don't follow. You're twisting from the waistline up. Okay, we're going to inhale here. Inhale. That inhale again is going to facilitate that length like a barbershop pole. Think about when you look at a barbershop pole, right? It always looks like it's getting longer. And that's exactly what we're doing here with that breath. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Find the hover. Let's go for four more. We're going to change it up. Last three. Shoulders are down and back. Good. We've got two. Good. And last one like this. Pull it all the way back to that hover. And now we're going to come into a high kneel. Hands are going to stay exactly where they are on the ring. We're going to take that ring all the way out so that we have two long levers with those arms. Okay. Sternum over pubic bone. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. On your inhale, roll those shoulders down and back. On your inhale, we're going to rotate towards the jump board. Again, waistline up. Exhale back to center. Inhale, twist. We're not twisting the pelvis. Pelvis is quiet. Okay? Think about that solar plexus. Okay? Staying right at the center of the ring as you twist. Okay? The head, neck, and shoulders don't facilitate the twist. Okay, so keep looking at the middle of your ring so that the head doesn't drive the movement. Okay, I want you to rotate through the rib basket. That's the driver, not your eyes. Whew. Good, it heats up. It heats up when you think of that intentional movement. It gets so much deeper. Good, last four. And this range of motion increases so much over time. Again, if you follow those deeper cues. Last three. Good. You've got two. 
Again, and if this is too tough, you can always pull your elbows in for that rotation. Okay, same thing. Let's go one more since I had to show you that at the last, at the last rep. Okay, hold it right here at center. Now, we're going to take that ring overhead like a top hat, okay, or like a halo. It's going to start low around the forehead. From here, we're going to inhale as we press that ring up and overhead. Exhale, bring it back down to that halo. Now, you're going to feel that right waistline light up, okay? If those elbows can't fully extend today, that's okay. I want you to go as far as you can without muscling this up. I want you to use your breath. Inhale. Exhale down. Now, you can always come into a low kneeling position or that hover again and press up from here if the high kneeling is too aggressive, okay? High kneeling is definitely going to give you a further distance to travel, so it's going to be more difficult. Inhale, finding length on that right waistline. Exhale as you bring it down. Inhale, exhale. Let's go for four. Good. Last three. Whoo. We got two. Feel that right side. Good. Last one. And bring it all the way down. Whoo. And give that shoulder a little roll. Now, if you haven't done my videos before, you'll know that I hit everything on one side and we circle the machine and we hit everything on the other. So if we're not hitting it right away, that's why. You're gonna come back to the floor. We get to hit that split squat again. A Little different this time though. Grab that long loop again. This time, that ring is gonna come to your left shoulder just like it did when we did that upper body jump. Okay, from here, you're gonna find that same split, uh, split squat. Your left leg is gonna step back. Okay, both knees are gonna bend or split lunge, I should say. Your right arm now, we're going to turn it palm facing up, and my palm and arm is at underarm height, okay? So not above the shoulder, just right below the shoulder. From here, we're going to get a little deeper in that split lunge. My right arm is going to curl on an exhale. Inhale, open up the inside elbow. Exhale, curl. Inhale, release. Now, you'll notice a lot of these moves, right? You don't need the ring. The ring is helping us stay tall. It's keeping us a little bit more honest. Okay, you can add a little press into that ring to light up that left waistline and that left back body. Hang on, stay low. Don't go anywhere. We got four more right here, four more bicep curls. Four, keep that elbow lifted. Keep the shoulders square to the rear of the machine. Last three, my hips are both at the same point. They're both shining straight back. Last two. Woo. And on your next one, you're going to hold your bicep curl. Hold. Right from here, your elbow is going to go one inch up and down. Fingers get one inch closer to the ceiling. Little pulse up and down for six. Woo. Five. Yes, you got it. Four. Good, last three, hang on. You've got two, last one. Hold that there, open up your bicep curl, full range of motion for four. Whoo, can you get a little lower in your split lunge? Last three. Good, you've got two, try not to grip those front toes, relax them. Good, last one, hold your bicep curl last time. Let's pulse our lunge. Pulse one inch up and down. I want you to think about those inner thighs gathering into your pelvic floor to lift you. You're going to feel that right glute. That's good. We're here for six, five, four, whoo, three, last two, slow pulses, last one, and bring it all the way up. Whoo, shake it out. Okay, hang up that ring, or hang up that loop, rather. Okay, we're going to sit down. That sounds good. It sounds good for a second until we get into it. Okay, that ring is going to come around your legs or your shins. So you're going to bring it up around the calf, okay? Now, from here, okay, the closer you are to the shoulder blocks, the less aggressive this is going to be. So the further away, closer to the jump board, the more aggressive. So find your spot. I'm somewhat middle, a little closer to the shoulder blocks. I'm going to grab my short loop, okay? Now, my short loop is gonna come around both palms, and I'm gonna start at prayer, right at chest center. 
Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna pull into teaser. So you're gonna lean back, okay? And then I want you to open up into the ring to lift your legs. Your left hand can always come down on the carriage for support if you wanna use it to get up there, okay? Bent teaser, here we are. This is where we're starting. Those legs are gonna magnetize into the outer lines of the ring, okay? And my thighs are gonna stay close to my chest so that I can keep the chest open and stay lifted out of the low back. Now my left hand is gonna come out of the loop. It can either be flat on the carriage, it can be on your hip, okay, wherever you want it to be, but I want it to be light. Your right arm now, we're gonna open it up to face forward. So a low field goal, all right? From here, that right arm is gonna press up and overhead. Bring it down nice and slow. Flip your field goal to face down, and now we're gonna twist it across the body. Come back to center, flip it up, overhead press. Bicep is in front of my ear. Okay, bring it down. Flip your field goal, palm facing down, elbow wide. Take it across the body, cross body reach. Little twist. That right rib basket gets to rotate. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, bring it down. Bring those thighs close to the chest. Flip it across the body and bring it back. Woo, we got four more. Up, good, bring it back. You can always switch to your short loop. That is an option. I mean, you're your short loop. You're in your short loop. Your long loop. Your long loop is also going to be less aggressive. Okay, last three. Back to center. Good, flip it. Last two. You got this. Whew, feel both waistlines. Good, I know those hip flexors. Whoops, there goes my watch talking to me. Good, press it up. Last one. Bring it down, flip it across the body. Okay, last little challenge, hang on with me. We're gonna bring those arms, or those hands back into the short loop for prayer. We're gonna fully extend to teaser. So if you're up for it, you're gonna extend both legs. If not, stay bent. From here, those prayer hands are gonna inhale up and overhead. Woo, exhale, bring them down to chest center. Inhale up and overhead. Exhale, bring it down. You got this for six. This is it. I know you feel your hip flexors. They're getting stronger. Five. Good. Last four. Pull that belly button up and in. Shoulders down and back. Last three. Ooh, the shakes. Good. Last two. Embrace that shaking. This is your last one. Up and bring it all the way down. Whoo. And set those legs down. Whoo. Nice job, you guys. That whoo always helps me get out of it and reassess where I'm at. All right, we get to lay on our back, all right? So we're staying on one yellow for right now. It is gonna change on the next movement. So lie all the way down with your ring, okay? Your long loop, your left long loop is gonna come around the left leg, okay, the left foot. All right, so let's put it around that left foot. Okay, now the ring, that is gonna come between your ankles. So right above the bones of your ankle is where you wanna place those squishy pads. All right, legs are gonna start straight up. Now, really important on this movement. Uh, one, your headrest should be down. Two, okay, you wanna connect your tailbone to the carriage. Now, feel for your hip bones, your ASIS bones, those bony landmarks at your hip. They need to shine straight up. So if they're rolled back, okay, right here, my tailbone's off the carriage, no good. If they're rolled forward, okay, now my low back is arching, no good. Okay, so we want a neutral spine, bones shining straight up. That does put my legs a little more forward, okay, in my body. So find the position where your tailbone is down and your spine is neutral. That's your starting point, okay? From here, we're gonna take those straight legs, those parallel legs, and we're gonna hinge them down to a 45 and we're gonna bring them back up to neutral. Good, you're gonna inhale them down, exhale them back up. Now when I bring them down, I'm managing my low back. All right, I pull that belly button up and in, my core is tight so that I have a little space between my low back and the carriage, but it's not a lot, okay? If it's a big rainbow, I want you to think about how low you're taking those legs because we don't want a big rainbow there. Okay, we want the core to control the pelvis. Last two. Whoo, these get heated up fast. You're gonna feel your right leg 
more than you're going to feel your left. Okay, so stay with me because that's your hip flexor. On your next one, when those legs are back at neutral, we're going to take them into internal rotation. So from the top of the femur bone in the thigh, twist the leg so the toes are shining a little more in now. Same hinge. Take it down to a 45 and back up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let's go for four. You've got it. And back up. Good. Last three. Hold on to that internal rotation. We're going for external next. Last two. Whew. And last one. Bring it back to that start position. Externally rotate. Okay, so from the top of the thigh again, you're going to rotate those legs outbound. Toes are shining a little more to 45. We're going to hinge back down. Good. Exhale it up. Inhale down. This is when everything starts to shake. Exhale up. Good. Four more. Down. Whoo. And up. Hang on. These are hard. I know. Three. We get both legs in the strap next. Last two. That'll be our middle point. Last one. You're going to hold at a 45. Hold it there. Swivel back to parallel. Hold your legs there at that 45 degree angle. Pull your belly button and your ribs closed. We're going to take those legs internally rotate, swivel them all the way to external, internal, whoo, external. You've got this internal, external. Last three internal. Don't drop your ring external. Good. Last two. If I was there, I would grab your ring for you. But you know, if we were in a class, I would on your next one, you're going to hold those legs parallel. We're going to open up on the ring. So you're going to almost drop it and then squeeze in. Almost drop it and squeeze in. Good. You're opening up on the ring. Don't really drop it, but I want you to get to the point where it's so shaky. You feel like you're going to drop the ring into the springs. Hold the belly button up and in. You've got it. Four, whoo, three, <laughs> last two. I'm laughing because that right leg is shaking like a leaf. On your next one, hold it. Now you're going to squeeze in on your ring. Squeeze in. That feels good, right? Little squeeze in. Keep those toes shining up for four. Three, two, and last one. And bring it all the way in. Whoo, my goodness. Okay, keep your left foot in the strap, okay? Let's get that right strap, that long loop, and let's bring it around the foot as well. Oh, actually, I lied. Before you do that, I'm sorry, don't do that. Take your left one off for a second. Okay, we're going to change our spring weight for this point. So you're going to add on, okay? We're going to go two red. Yeah, let's go two red and a yellow. I had to think for a second what I, what I planned. Two red and a yellow. So this is meant to be a little heavier. You're going to lie all the way down on your back. And I should have said, you know, if you want your headrest up here, it's okay. We're not going to be lifting the tailbone. So if you want your headrest up, it's fine. Okay, long loop around the right foot. Ring is on my chest because I'm going to need it. And long loop around the left foot. All right, right from here. Take that ring back to the inside ankle. Okay, just above those bones. Lengthen all the way out, okay, to two straight legs. And then we're going to start with those legs up again. So find your neutral spine. It's going to be harder here because now you're fighting those springs. All right, so tailbone down, ASIS bones shining up, belly button pulled up and in. Okay, from here, arms are long by your side or they can be on your hips to manage that pelvis. You're going to inhale the legs down in that parallel hinge. And then we're going to exhale them back up. Don't let the tailbone peel up. So the number one there, the first thing I always see with clients is the tailbone here. With all this weight, they let the tailbone do this. And then they come back down. And then they get out of here. And then they, no. Okay? I want you to glue that pelvis down. The core is in, in control of the pelvis today. Let's keep it steady. Okay? Tailbone stays down as we hinge and move the legs from the top of the thigh bone. Okay, right there. Moving around, swiveling those legs in that hip socket. Let's go for four. And we're going to start to bend those knees. Good. Last three. So we control these straps. Okay, with all that weight. We don't let the straps control us. Last two. Sometimes we do when we're stretching, right? In, those, in some of those types of sequences or flows. 
but not today. <laughs> not today. All right, on your next one, we're going to lengthen those legs down to that 45. Keep that belly button pulled up and in. Keep that pelvis in control. Toes are shining up. On your exhale, you're going to bend both knees like you're sitting down in a chair. Stop your kneecap over your hip. Okay, and then from here, you're going to inhale. Send the heels back out for the jump board. Good. Exhale. Bend those knees. Knees are tracking with big toe, second toe. So even though we're laying down, okay, you can still look for that alignment. Okay. That's the bone rhythms, the natural bone rhythms that we want to maintain right there. Knees are going to stop over the hip. That's going to send that femur bone down into the hip socket. And then we're going to move from there with intention from the back line of the leg. I want you to feel where the glute and the hamstring meet and press out from there. Good. Opening up the back of the knee all the way, full range of motion. Let's go for six. Whoo, those inner thighs, right? Those inner thighs. Last five. Good. That's a tough to get area, but not in Pilates. <laughs> Last four. In Pilates, you can hit those inner thighs all bunch. Last three. You've got it. Hang on. We're going to hang. We're going to keep those knees bent in two. Ooh, last full one like that. Take it out. On your next one, you're going to hold them bent. So find that perfect alignment, knee over hip. From here, we're going to go one inch out and one inch back in. One inch out and one inch back in. So right through the heel. The heel is getting one inch closer to the jump board, but I'm moving with intention from the back line of my leg. Okay. Having that little hold on the ring really lights up those inner thighs. I want you to narrow those inner thighs down into the ring. You've got it. Hang on. We're here for six. Whoo, last five. We got one more layer. You're here for four. Good. Last three. And two. Whoo, on your next one, you're going to take those legs and you're going to send them all the way out nice and long. That should feel good. Stay there. We're going to take one ab curl. So on your exhale, you're going to curl the shoulder blades up. Palms are going to come to the insides of your ropes and you're going to press out on those ropes like you're going to drop the ring, but don't drop the ring. Hang on to the ring. Okay. So we're just giving those extra thighs a little extra light. Hang on a little extra fire. That's what I should have said. Fire, pull that belly button up and into the spine. You've got it. Ribs are closed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, don't drop it, two, and bring it all the way down, guys. Woo, fold it in. Keep your ring. Let's take both straps off because we need to change our springs, okay? So your left strap, you're going to hang up on the, um, on the holder. I can't think of the word. The right strap you're going to need back, okay? So let's take off those two red springs. Keep the extra light spring on there. Lie all the way down with your ring again on your chest. You're going to take your right foot into that long loop. Okay, we're going to set up whew, for that single leg work. I'm never ready for this, but I don't think I'd ever be ready at the beginning or <laughs> middle of the class. Okay, so the ring is above the ankle bone. Again, here we go. We're going to find that neutral pelvis. Okay, legs are in parallel to start. Tailbone down, neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Okay, ribs are closed from here. We're going to inhale, take the legs down in that parallel hinge. Exhale, bring it back up. Okay, so same sequence we did on the other side. We're going to do on this side. Don't let that strap twist you. I know it's an extra light spring, but right now we're starting to get tired. Okay, so I don't want you to twist. Stay level. Keep the pelvis neutral. That's really critical in this sequence. Good. Let's go for four more. Good. Last three. Good. Inhale down. Get that nice long length from the inside out. Last two. Ooh, that left leg's already starting to tremble. Last one. All right. On your next one, bring them back up to that start position. Internal rotation from the top of the leg. So you should see my whole leg move. Knees, everything face a little more inward. Now from here, same thing, hinge down and back up. Whoo, down and back up. You got it. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. We're getting closer. 
We've already crossed the midway point. You're here for four. Good, last three. Woo, we got two. Hold on to that internal rotation because you're gonna go external next. This is your last one internal. Bring it back. Okay, back to that start. Externally rotate. Okay, so inner thigh is shining a little bit more up. Toes shining a little more out. Okay, here we go, same thing, hinge. And back up. Inhale. Exhale up. Whoo, you got it. Hang on. We're getting there. Just breathe, 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 breathe. Good. Let's go for four more. We got the swivels all the way around at that 45. It's coming up. Last three. Good, you've got two. Think about that long length on both sides of your waistline. That's what we're looking for in every position. Whoo! On your next one, you're gonna hold that 45 degree angle hold. Now those legs are gonna go all the way internal, all the way external. Parallel to internal, parallel to external. Whoo! big swivel from the top of the thigh bone. You've got this, don't let it go. Good, you're here for six. Whew. Last five. Good, you've got four. Oh boy, <laughs> last three. Okay, we're gonna almost drop that ring in two. And last one, you're gonna hold parallel. Almost drop your ring. Okay, so you're pulsing out like you're gonna let go of the ring, but don't let go of the ring. Okay, it's that shaky point. Six, five, four, three. Two, squeeze in on your ring. Pulse in right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pull it all the way in. Oh my goodness, take off that strap. Hang it up. That's over, thank goodness. <laughs> Come on up. Whew. All right, we got, what do we got? I forget. We got that teaser work. Oh, yes. Okay. So I secretly love this one. All right. So I'm going to be facing away from you now, but you know what we did on that one side? We're going to repeat it on the, on the other side. So the ring is going to come around your shins or around your calf. Okay. Right midpoint between ankle and knee. All right. Closer you are to the shoulder blocks, more aggressive. I'm sorry, less aggressive. Closer you are to the jump board, more, uh, more aggressive. Okay. We're gonna grab our short loop, okay? With that short loop, we're gonna bring a prayer palms inside that loop. Okay, now from here, you can always bring your right hand out for support. Okay, we're gonna take those legs up into bent teaser. So we're gonna imprint outbound in the ring from those upper inner thighs. That's gonna feed all the way down into the ring. Hands are in prayer to start just to get ourselves situated and set up. Okay, shoulders are square to the uh, left side of the reformer. My right hand's gonna come out. I'm gonna set it down alongside my body. It's nice and light, okay? I'm lifting up out of my low back. My chest is open. That left arm is gonna come into a low field goal alongside the left side of my body. We're gonna take that left arm. We're gonna press it woo, up and overhead. Ooh, it doesn't wanna go. And now we're gonna flip that arm, a low field goal, or palm facing down, twist across the body. Okay, here we go. Flip that palm up, overhead press. Whoo, this side's much harder for my body. Flip that palm face down, elbow wide. Take that arm across the body. Good, come back to center. Arm up, press. Whoo, bring it down. Good, flip the palm, take it across the body. You've got it. Let's go for four more right here. Press. Everything's shaking. <laughs> Good. Across the body. That's what's supposed to happen. Embrace that shake. Last three. Try not to twist. This one wants to twist me a lot. This side, at least I should say. Last two. Bicep stays in front of the ear, keeping the ribs close, keeping the thighs close to the body. We got one more right here. You got this. Hang on. Whew. <laughs> That's my sound today. Whoo, on everything. All right, right here. We're going to take those palms back into the short loop. Hang on. Can you give me a full teaser? Yes, you can. Can those palms now press up and overhead and come back to center? Whoo, up and overhead 
and back to center. Like we're diving. Good. Inhale up. You've got this. You've got this. Hang on. I'm telling myself that. You've got four. Whew, I'm twisting. Don't twist. <laughs> Good. Last three. Everything's shaking. Woo. Last two. And give me one more. Give me one more. Yes, you can. Inhale. And bring it down. And come all the way up. Oh, the relief is so good, right? It doesn't last forever. I always tell myself, that's my internal voice. It says it never lasts forever. So we can get through it together. Okay, rear facing, we're going to do that bicep work, right? Let's make sure I'm correct. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that ring is going to come to the right shoulder, right palm, okay? Your left foot's going to be solid on the ground. That right foot, we're going to take our long loop. Let's take that first. Our right foot is going to step back into that hovering split lunge. Find the tracking of the left knee. Left knee tracks with big toe, second toe, just in front of the ankle. We're hovering nice and low. Sternum over pubic bone, so we're staying nice and tall. Okay, press a light press into that ring. That's gonna keep us honest. Let's take that left palm, face it up at underarm height. Okay, right from here. We're gonna take that bicep curl on an exhale. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. Both hip bones shine forward. We're not twisting. I'm taking that right hip bone and I'm sending it forward. It doesn't get to hang back there with that right leg. Good. That nice bicep curl. I'm staying low. Whoo. Good. Hang on. Okay, we're going to go for those bicep pulses in four. Those elbow, that elbow is going to pulse up one inch. Last three. Good. Now we're just repeating on that other side. So the movements don't change until the very end. Okay. Last one. Hold right from here. Your left elbow is going to go up one inch and down, up and down. Good. Straight up with those fingers and down. Stay low. You can give that ring a little press if you want. You're here for four. Whew. Last three. Good. You've got it. Two. Last one. Hold it there, back to that full range of motion. Open up that inside elbow. Bicep curl. Whoo, we got six. Good, last five. You've got four, no big yank. Okay, nice control coming from the core. Last three. Almost there, almost there. We just got one more thing. Last two. We're going to pulse that squat. On your next one, you're going to hold your bicep curl. Okay, hold it right there. Let's pulse that split lunge. I keep saying squat. I don't know what's with me today. <laughs> split lunge, hold it here. Good, you're here for eight, seven, six. Keep that left elbow up. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And come all the way up. Ooh, shake it out. <laughs> Hang up that strap for a second. We're going to do the high kneeling work. Okay, so again, I'm not going to be facing you. I'm going to be facing away, but it's a repeat of what we've already done. So that ring is going to be between the palms. We're going to grab that long loop one more time. Left hand with the long loop on the squishy pad, right hand on the other one. Okay. Whew. Roll those shoulders out, down and back. Sternum over pubic bone. Nice and tall from here. We're going to start with a hinge. So right from the seat crease... We're going to reach the sits bones straight back. Ribs stay stacked over the pelvis as we reach. I'm hovering. I'm never sitting on my heels. Right from here, I'm going to inhale as I take that ring up and out at a diagonal. And I come back down to that hover. Inhale up and out at a diagonal. Back down to the hover. So remember the pelvis gets to stay quiet. It's not invited to move on this one. Okay. We're twisting waistline up. Bring it back. Good. Inhale, lift up and out. Exhale, bring it back. So same thing. Closer you are to the shoulder blocks, the less aggressive. Okay, shorter distance you have to travel. The closer you are to the jump board, okay, the more aggressive. Let's go for four more here. Four. Exhale down. Good. Last three. Good, you've got two. And last one like that. Come back to your hover. 
Okay, now from here, we're gonna come into that high kneeling position again. We're gonna take two long levers, so we're gonna extend those arms all the way out off the chest. From here, we're gonna inhale as we rotate waistline up towards the jump board and back to center. Now, I just did what I said not to do. Keep your ring, or keep your eyes down the center of that ring. Okay, we don't want the eyes to drive the, the rotation because the eyes can do that, okay? We wanna drive the rotation from the rib basket. Keep the pelvis quiet. Hip bones don't get to twist, it's waistline up. Think of that barber shop pole. We're gonna use that inhale to rotate. Getting longer, getting taller. Whew, exhale through center. Good, and this range of motion, it really does increase over time. I remember when I first started doing these rotations, my body barely rotated, and I wanted to do, you know, so I yanked and I pulled, and you just wanna stay true and honest to it. Let's go for four, because it will increase. Good, if you're doing it right, okay? Last three, it's important to hear the cues. Who can feel that left arm, right? <laughs> Last two. And one more, inhale. And back to center. All right, now from here, we're gonna take that ring. Reset. Up and overhead like a halo. Bring it down. Woo! I'm gonna get a little closer to that shoulder block because that left, I think I kept us too long in that uh, rotation. All right, right from here. We're gonna inhale, press that ring up. Exhale, bring it down. Good, so it's like a halo. Inhale up and exhale down. Woo, everything's shaking. Good, hang on, that's what's supposed to happen. We're here for four. Good, last three. Use your, ex your inhale. Good, last two. And last one. And bring it all the way down. Whoo, that one burnt out. I think I twisted, we twisted too long there. <laughs> I stayed in that one way too long. All right, we got that split lunge one more time. So come back, back down to the floor. Okay, this time that ring is going to come to your right waistline. Right waistline, right palm. Okay, we're going to have that long loop again. Whoo, and that right leg's going to take a step back. So standing nice and tall on both legs. Let's take that right leg back. So now we're in that split lunge and that hover. Okay, your left arm is gonna go back for that chest expansion. So right from here, we're gonna inhale, take the arm to the side seam. Exhale, bring it forward. Good, inhale, take it to the side seam. Exhale, bring it forward. And I don't have a ton of room on this side of my machine, so hopefully you have enough room to move. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, bring it forward. All right, we're here for four. We're gonna get into those holds. Good, last three. Good, make sure that left heel is heavier than your left toes. Last two. We got that first hold coming up. Whoo, on your next one, you're gonna hold that left palm back, hold it right at the side seam. Press into your ring, give it a nice little squeeze into that right waistline. Good, core is tight, you're not moving, you're not changing, it's isometric. You're here for four, three, Two, release that left arm forward. Okay, right back to full range of motion. Press it back and forward. Whoo, press it back on your inhale. Exhale forward, can you give me four more right here? Four, get a little lower in your split lunge. Good, last three, think of those inner thighs pulling up and in. Whoo, last two, that butterfly's coming up. Last one, you're gonna send that arm back and hold it. Hold it there, inner thighs squeeze, squeeze. One inch into the midline, both inner thighs move in. Six, five, four, woo, three, two, and bring it all the way up. Oh boy, okay, the body is done, right? It's getting done. Okay, those four point kneeling jumps, right? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna come onto your hands and knees. Okay, left hand under the ring. Again, if you don't have the ring, both hands can be on the carriage or you can have that bird dog. Okay, so you'll be here with that right leg out. Okay, so the right leg's gonna be up against the jump board. Nice and flat. You want the left knee under the hip. Okay, press lightly into your ring. I want you to think about a heavy right palm and a heavy left shin. 
okay? Keep that connection, that diagonal connection through the body. From here, we're gonna roll to the toes, keep the legs straight, connect the heel. Roll to the toes, connect the heel. Two more, and then we're gonna allow that knee to bend. Good, one more. Good, now on your next one, you're gonna let the knee soften, and then we're gonna roll up to the toes. Let the knee soften, roll up to the toes. Two more. Let the knee soften, preparing the core. Okay, preparing that body for more movement because we're gonna hop on the next one. If you're comfortable, you're gonna go for that little hop. Right away, the first one is always shaky, okay? And maybe the first few on this side because we're really, the body's fatigued already, okay? I want you to think about that reach of the right inner thigh, out that right big toe, crown of the head is reaching away from that big toe in opposition. So you've got a nice long spine, eyes are on the floor. Whew. Good, shoulders are square to the carriage. Lots to think about, I know, but over time, the things will become natural in your body. These cues will become natural in your body. Good, let's go two more like this and then we're gonna add that lift of the right leg. So on your next one right here, we're gonna lift two inches up, lower to land. So it's a quick little lift. Okay, we don't have a ton of time here. You are on that extra light spring, so we get that hang time, but I want you to think about not arcing that low back. Okay, that low back stays nice and flat, so this isn't a high kick. This is just a little pulse up. Connecting to the back line of that leg, so find that intentional movement. Ooh, pull that belly button up and in. Right, feel everything, the upper body, the core, those legs, those hip flexors, those glutes, we're here for six. Last five. Good, you've got four. Last three. Ooh, we got two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. Ooh, a rotate, rotate around to face your jump board, okay? Guys, we're so close. Okay, here we go. So, staying on that extra light spring, kneecaps come off the front edge of the carriage. Right hand is gonna hold that ring at the shoulder. Okay, so you've got a light hold, right palm, right shoulder. Left hand, we're gonna hover back. So, staying nice and tall, sternum over pubic bone. From there, same thing. S reaching those sits bones back, hinging from the seat crease, stacking the ribs over the pelvis, hold. Left hand comes to the jump board. Okay, from here, we're gonna roll to the fingertips and roll it back down. Finding the articulation through the forearm into the wrist and the palm. Again, I'm asking for a lot of flexibility here through the wrist, so if that's not doable today, you can bring your fingertips off the front edge, okay? But if you can get that full, full hand connection, great, just like your foot on those jumps. You've got it, let's go two more. Inhale, exhale to roll down. Inhale, open the inside elbow. Exhale down, now we're gonna add that little hop. If you're comfortable, if you're ready. We're not reaching up, we're not rising up with our body yet. Just opening up the elbow, lengthening out the arm. Inhale to leave. Think about that internal length. Exhale to land. Light press into the ring. It's just giving us more places to activate, more full body work. Hang on, all right, let's go for six. We're gonna add that rise up, last five. I talk so much on the first round, right? I gotta make sure I stay long enough on this arm too. Four, good, last three. Notice I'm not shoving, okay? It's a roll in articulation through the palm. On your next one, we're gonna rise up. Press the palm long and low. Good, palm comes down alongside the body. I open up the front of the hips. I hover, again, I reach and I hinge back with those sits bones to land. Rise up. I want you to think about the inner thighs gathering into the pelvic floor to lift you. You're gonna feel your quads, but I'm trying to get you to turn off the quads a little bit. Try not to squeeze the glute and think about the inner thighs. Think about them lifting up like suspender muscles or suspender straps along the spine. That's what we're looking for. Pull up those suspenders right here. Whoo, we got six. This is it. Last five. Good, you got four. Whoo, last three. 
And we've got two. And last one. And reach it all the way down. Oh, all right, we're gonna switch our springs one last time. So no yellow, one blue. One light spring. Okay, so take off your extra light, put on that light. Flip around, okay? That ring is gonna come around the thigh. So place it around the outer thigh just above the knee. You're gonna scooch back. Okay, but we're gonna want a little space to hinge. So make sure you've got a little space behind you on that carriage. You're gonna reach forward and you're gonna grab your short loops. Okay, we're gonna do some more bicep work right here. All right, so we're gonna open up or magnetize those outer thighs into the ring. We're lifting up and out of that low back, chest is open. Okay, we're sitting nice and tall, excuse me, nice and tall to start, but you're gonna hinge back with a flat back. Okay, so two inches back, flat back. Now, both hands in that short loop, in those short loops. Reach those palms out at underarm height. From here, we're gonna roll the shoulders, keep them down and back. We're gonna bend the elbow, find that bicep curl. Inhale, lengthen back out. Good, exhale, find that bicep curl. Lengthen back out. Good, so holding that flat back here, I'm just hinged. That's it, I've just got a hinge. Crown of head reaching far away from that tailbone. Whew. Good, hang on, let's go for four more here. Good, I'm using that ring to find a connection to the inner thigh, the pelvic floor, the low belly. Good, last three. Good, you've got two. On your next one, you're gonna hold. Hold it right here. Okay, we're gonna pulse up. One inch up and down. I want you to feel the shoulder blades melt down the back of the body as you pulse up. They go down. Okay, then they come back to normal. Six. Good. Five. Woo. Four. Three. Two. Last one and bring it all the way up. Whew, okay, last thing, flip around. Keep your ring exactly how you have it. Okay, we're not gonna change it. It's gonna stay right there. Okay, so around the outer thigh. Now for this one, these are called tailbone teaser jumps. Your palms are gonna come down behind you, kind of like you're leaning back or lounging out on the couch, but fingertips are gonna face your body, okay? Fingertips nice and wide, and your feet are gonna come to the jump board. Okay, so my knees are bent, I'm magnetizing outbound into that ring, all right? And right from here, I'm lifting up out of the chest. Chest is open, which feels good on the shoulder, actually. And I'm lifting out of my low back. I'm right off the sits bones, okay? So from here, I'm gonna do this roll through the foot, okay? Kind of like we did with the palm a little minute ago. We're gonna roll to the ball of the foot and roll back down to the heel. Roll up to your toes and roll back down to the heel. So we're preparing the body here. Okay, the first one is gonna feel shaky, all right, but I want you to stay with me because we got this. We got this. Good, those arms are eventually gonna come off of, the, um, off of the carriage. Good, we're here for four. Good, last three and two. All right, if you're up for it, on your next one right here, we're gonna leave the jump board and come back. Knees can stay bent to start. Okay, we're leaving. Inhale, exhale. Good, now keep jumping. We're gonna start to fully extend the legs. Inhale, lengthen, bend and land. Good, lengthen out, open up those inside, the back of the knee. Open up the back of the knee. Good, now, if you're up for it, we're gonna take that right arm and we're gonna reach it up and out. Okay, so now I've only got my left hand on the carriage, but it's light. That right arm is reaching out, preparing for full teaser jumps right here. Hang on to it, okay? You know, you feel those hip flexors again. They're getting strong today. Good, now again, if you're up for it, take the left arm up and out as well. If you're not, put that right arm back down, okay, and now work with the left. But if you can get both arms off, great, stay there. Good, keep jumping. All right, this is it. All right, now we're gonna add one more last challenge. Those arms are gonna go up as we leave. So it's a lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. This is it. Eight, whoo, 
seven, good, six, connect the heel every time, five, small range of motion, four, whoo, three, <laughs> last two, I had to look at myself there, felt a little wonky, last one, whoo, and bring it all the way in, hug your, we're going to get to hug the knees, take off your ring, okay, now we stretch, now we stretch, keep your ring nearby, because we are going to use it, lie all the way down on your back, whoo, and take a big breath. Take those knees into your chest. Good. Two big breaths right here. Inhale. Fill those ribs towards the sides of the room. Exhale all that air out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale all that air out. Now grab your ring. Okay. This is going to take us a little bit over with the stretch, but if you can hang on for the stretch, it's always a really good idea. All right. Both feet are going to start in the ring. So Right foot up against one squishy pad and left foot's going to join it. Okay, I've got my hands around the other squishy pad. I'm going to lengthen out both legs, flex those feet. From here, I'm going to draw the ring a little closer to my chest. Let the tailbone, let it peel off the carriage if you can get it there. Okay, keeping the knees soft, not locked out, but they're fully extended. My feet are very much flexed. Okay, so I'm getting a stretch all the way through the back line of the leg, nice and deep. Hang on to this stretch right here. With every exhale, pull that ring a little closer. You're here for four and three. If things are shaking, fantastic. Last two, you wanna get to that point. And then relax that back down, tailbone to the carriage. Your left foot's gonna come to the jump board. Okay, you're gonna keep the right foot in the ring. Press away from the jump board and hold that left leg straight. You're going to flex that right foot completely. Same thing. Pull that right leg a little closer to the chest. This time the tailbone's not going to lift because we've got that left leg down and extended. So you're just going to really flex and reach through the center of your heel. Four, three, last two. Hold it there. My right hand is going to keep the ring. My left hand's going to come down to the carriage. And I'm going to take that right leg and open it to the right side of the carriage. All right, my left hip stays down. It doesn't come off the carriage. I keep those hips nice and stable. And I open that inner thigh. Now I'm going to flex that right foot again. And I'm going to get a little deeper by drawing the ring a little closer to the shoulder block. And hold it right there. Four. Three. Last two. Good. Now we're going to come all the way back to center with that ring. Switch hands. Left hand inside the ring. Right hand alongside the body. We're going to take that right leg across to the left side. Now for an IT band stretch. Okay, that does not feel good in my body. <laughs> and I think for a lot of people it doesn't feel great. Okay, but I want you to hold it there for a second and sincerely flex the foot. Okay, reach through your heel. Hold on to this for six, five, four. My right hip is off the carriage. Three, two, whew. roll it back to center. Okay, let's slowly take that right leg out. Bring your right leg against the jump board. Left leg gets to do this now. So left foot comes in inside the ring, both hands on the other side. We're going to exhale as we flex the foot and take a nice gentle pull towards the body with that ring. Don't worry about breaking the ring. I'm sure it's not going to happen. <laughs> Good. They, these rings take a lot of abuse. Hang on to that. Again, reach through your heel. Keep the foot flexed. Your foot is flexed throughout all of this stretching piece right here. Four, three, two. Release that just a little bit. Left hand keeps the ring. Right hand comes alongside the body. We're going to open up that left leg to the left, opening the inner thigh towards the ceiling. Right hip stays down. Try not to roll over. Okay, and you're going to get a little deeper by drawing that ring closer to your shoulder block. Good. You can kind of switch your grip on that a little bit if that helps. Hang on to it for four. Last three. Two. Good. Come all the way back to center with that ring. Let's switch hands. Right hand takes the ring. Left hand comes down alongside the body. We're going to take that left leg over to the right for that IT band stretch. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible in my body. I don't like this stretch, but it's good for me. So that's why we do it. <laughs> right? That's why we do these things. Reach through the center of your heel. 
Flex that foot. Let your left hip come off the carriage. You're here for six. Five, four, three, two. Come all the way back to center nice and slow. Okay, take your foot back down to the jump board. Set the ring down on the floor or alongside the carriage. Slowly bend both knees. One more time, you're going to give those legs a nice little hug. Rock the spine side to side. Massage that low back. You can take those knees in a little circle. Stir the pot one way. Take it the other way. Whoo, guys, and you are all done. You did it. Another full 60 minute reformer workout, a little longer with that stretch. I always, I always take you up to the 60 minutes with the hard work, right? And then that stretching is a nice little bonus at the end. So if you can hang out with me for the stretching, please do, because it's always important to get that little release in there. You worked so hard. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you got sweaty like me. I hope you felt the shake like me. I definitely felt it <laughs> on some of those moves. If you have questions for me, please do not be afraid to leave comments below the video. I check them all. I check all the comments that come in and I respond to them all as well, good and bad. So please don't be afraid to share your thoughts with me. If you have questions or modifications needed, I'm happy to answer those as well. You can find me on Just P Fit, all social media accounts. So Instagram and Facebook, that's my name. So I'm pretty easy to find and you can reach out to me on that platform as well. I have live Zoom workouts every week. So if you're interested in a more private or personal experience, if you are dealing with certain uh, bod injuries, surgeries, modifications that you constantly need um, and that you're not really sure how to work through, that's a really great option. Or if you just want to get stronger and you want more, more workouts, okay? Once a week they happen. Right now they're happening every Friday at 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. That is always up for change, but right now that's where it's been sitting. I live record these, so the recording is yours after the workout. So whether you're there live or not, you will always have the recording. If you'd like to join in on these, everyone is welcome, all levels. Okay, we get nice and deep, just like this one. All right, please uh, reach out to me at my uh, website, justpfit.com. There's a contact button there and you can find me that way and I will get you all the information and I would be happy to work with you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this workout. Again, I will see you next time with more fun stuff. If there's things you want to see, I want to hear that too. All right, I'll see you next time.